What is going on, live people? It is Avis Reviews here, back at you with another review. So today we are going to tackle one of my least favorite season seven episodes. Now, in case you didn't know, SpongeBob season seven is my least favorite season of all of SpongeBob. Yes, I hate this more than season six and season eight. So why is that? Well, it doesn't have the worst episodes. That would be season eight. It doesn't have the most amount of bad episodes. That would also be season eight. The reason I hate it more is because not only are the bad episodes really bad, but there are only three episodes in this season that I think are really good and can go toe to toe with any pre-movie episode. Three! Just three that I think are really good. Although season 6 and 8 have worse episodes, there are a lot of episodes that I really like in those seasons. But on to this episode specifically, this episode does a pretty good job of showing why I hate this season so much. It starts off like your typical modern Spongebob episode filler, and then Spongebob wants to know if Patrick wants to play hide and seek. Of course, he does, and this episode does the opposite of what it's supposed to do. At the beginning of an episode, it's supposed to hook you in into wanting to watch the rest of the episode, and introduce the positives. But instead, here it introduced arguably the biggest problem in this episode. How slow and dull and humorless this thing is. And the main problem here is Patrick. Patrick is beyond flanderized in this episode. In your typical modern episode, Patrick is just dumb. Sometimes he furthers the plot, sometimes he derps around and does stupid things. In this episode, he's not even stupid. He just forgets everything that's told to him five seconds ago. And this is coming from the guy who literally forgets everything, which has gotten me in some really bad situations that I'd rather not discuss right now. Anyway, Spongebob tries explaining to Patrick how to play hide and seek, and god, this is just the most slow and frustrating thing I've ever seen. This is worse than waiting. At least the episode was a short and tries to start a plot with several characters. Not to mention, none of the characters are flanderized. Well, except Spongebob when he starts whining about the toy, but that was just for that one scene. Patrick is flanderized in this whole episode. So about a few, um, how about you take this one French narrator? One extremely annoying shift later. Yeah, after that, Patrick pretends to know what to do and Spongebob starts to hide. We get some really weird and disgusting mouth movements for way too long, and Patrick finds Spongebob because the animators were too busy thinking Spongebob smacking his lips repeatedly was funny. Okay, to be fair, it wasn't funny in Jellyfishing either. Then the writers decide to turn this into a Patrick's a Jerk episode, and Patrick starts gloating when he beats Spongebob. But before they go full yours, mine, and mine on us, Spongebob starts counting, and Patrick absolutely forgets all logic and goes home. And this is a season 7 episode. This isn't even his worst performance. He's much worse in season 8. Pet Sitter Pat, Smooth Jazz of Bikini Bottom, Restraining Spongebob, The Oral Report, and Patrick Staycation are all from season 8. And there are some really awful Patrick episodes. Especially Pet Sitter Pat. That's definitely one of the worst episodes of Spongebob. Anyways, when Spongebob comes out, he thinks Patrick's home is too obvious for him to hide, and he goes somewhere else. So we spend the rest of the episode of just Spongebob looking for Patrick. At first, it's really boring. It's just Spongebob staring at some rocks. Then this episode decides to go boating buddies on us, and has Spongebob run up to Squidward, with Squidward trying to get away and freaking out. He pricks his key because of Spongebob, and is now locked outside of his house. Yep, let's have Squidward be miserable for the brief cameo he's in. So, then Spongebob looks for Patrick at the Krusty Krab, and then Mr. Krab charges Spongebob. The writers show the scene to show us that Mr. Krabs is cheap. Is there any character in this episode that isn't one-dimensional? And then we get arguably the most infamous scene in this episode. Spongebob is looking for Patrick under Mrs. Puff's boat, and then Spongebob keeps asking Mrs. Puff if she's sure she doesn't want to play hide-and-seek. This is basically season 7's equivalent of that overly long gag from Petter Pess. It annoys Mrs. Puff and the audience. And then Mrs. Puff just loses it. She goes completely insane and destroys a car. And then Spongebob goes to Sandy's house. 
He tries looking for her in a bag of nuts, and for some reason, then she gives him a submarine. He goes to the end of the world looking for Patrick, and apparently there's a cafe and gift shop. Then we meet someone named Patrick Knotstar, and he tells him the moral of the episode. He tells Spongebob as long as he's having fun, he can lose an- Am I reading a fanfiction? Seriously, in my opinion, this really feels like a fanfiction. Like, what? Patrick Knotstar? End of the world gift shop? Wh wh what is this crap? Anyways, plot twist, Patrick was under the rock the whole time. Gee, it's not like this episode told us that about 4 minutes in. Anyways, Spongebob lets him win, and we end on a stupid joke. So how would I fix this episode? It's actually pretty simple. I would forget about Patrick's short-term memory and have Patrick hide from the start. Instead of revealing to us where Patrick is, don't tell us so it's a mystery. Then have Spongebob go looking for him and have a transition in his character of Spongebob slowly getting more competitive. Then you can have it end like it is here with Patrick hiding under his rock and Spongebob teaching the moral of this episode. Or you could have it end with Spongebob finding Patrick and have a satisfying ending. There you go. With that episode I mentioned, it has some tension, a decently told story, and if Spongebob finds some new people, you can even have jokes about the characters playing off each other. Avis Reviews, signing out.